we all know the phrase, the best X comes from X. We say, okay, well that place, 5,000 miles away, that's where I get my strawberries because that's where they're grown. This is a new way of thinking that says, the best X comes from the environment that created it. So it could be that the best strawberries in the world come from Detroit. Hydroponics is an umbrella term for a lot of things. You have shallow water culture hydroponic, deep water culture, you have nutrient film technology, you have all of these derivations of hydroponics that all do different things for different crops. And then maybe at the far side of that you have aeroponics. You can be sitting in still water or it can be merely suspended in a chamber where we create fog inside of that. And then on top of this, we're supplementing with LED light as well as natural light when it's available. And you'll see that it's all just red and blue. So that's because this is the spectrum of light that the plants need to create new plant material. We grow on the aeroponic side about four times faster than conventional. At first, you don't really believe that that's possible. Like, how could you grow four times faster than, than nature? It's newer technology, it grows faster, it breaks sometimes, it takes specialized intelligence. Where you need the speed, where you need the precision, you apply aeroponics. It's a race car of farming. We have a level that is purely natural light. These plants were planted about the same time. This plant has been balanced with LEDs. We have a much greener plant. We have more leafy plant mass to eat. So it just results in a healthier, better looking plant. One of the things that we're working on here is developing like the plant Linux. You know, the open operating system for plants. It will take sensor information. It will put that into a database architecture and allow you to make visualizations of it and make changes to the environment. So actuation on the technology. City Farm is a project within the City Science Initiative. And what the City Science Initiative is about is future cities. What are our living environments? What are our data environments? What are our mobility environments? And then what are our food environments? And how can we create and shape that for the future? 80% of us in the next 20 years will live in cities. We want to get the healthiest food to them as possible, and especially in that category, eat fresh, pick fresh. One way that I look at my work is I'm trying to move that point of consumption closer to the point of production. We can bring back a hyper-local experience. We can bring back all of the natural variety that's maybe been kind of toned down to fit into our industrial food systems. There is a new way to think of using fabrication space, especially you know, if you look at a city like Detroit, you know, and knowing that cities need jobs, and they have a lot of people that need jobs, you know, this is a potential huge market sector for employment that, that doesn't exist right now. People to get back into production inside of their local city. Beyond the talking, beyond the renderings, beyond the visioning, we know that there's a problem. But we know that it'll take a whole new generation of problem solvers to contribute to this huge issue. It's not the limit of the technology. It's what do you want to do with it? And where are you, you know, in trying to do that?